And uh, what I've decided to do is I'm going to go ahead and make the um, fan shroud out of aluminum. So we've got that uh, pulled out of there. Um, I seen one guy, he showed uh, taking a ratchet strap and wrapping it around the uh, pulley there down to the frame. And that will hold that uh, pulley in place so that way you can get the uh, fan broken off of there. Which, uh, that worked out really good. So that's a pretty sweet tip that that guy gave. Um, but over here to the uh, workbench. Um, so this here is the fan shroud in question. And we're going to try to duplicate this the best we can. Um, it's kind of an interesting piece. Uh, there's really no straight, uh, you know, there's straight cuts, uh, but they all have taper. You know, you can notice that this is wide and then this is narrower. Um, this here from the side profile actually tapers downhill there. So um, it's kind of an interesting piece, um, but I think I'm going to be able to duplicate it. Got some pieces um, ready to uh, tack up here. And you can see that I've got that same taper on there. So uh, we're going to start getting this tacked up here. Um, I'm kind of try to work from this side over to this side. Um, that just seemed to be the best way because if you notice this side over here is quite a bit wider than this side here. So it's almost like the fan isn't sitting uh, directly in the center of the shroud. So it's like I said, it's kind of an interesting piece. Um, but you can also tell this here, you know, it's kind of warped in the center real bad. Um, and I'm sure that's just due to uh, time and age and whatnot. Um, but it's kind of an ugly looking piece um, when it's in there. So I'm hoping to uh, dress it up. And I'm hoping to have all these aluminum bits um, powder coated in whatever my accent color will be for the engine bay, probably. I was thinking about orange. Um, that seemed like a pretty sweet color um, that might pop in there because the color theme of the truck is going to be black and gray. Um, real subtle, but you know, maybe under the engine bay we can throw a little splash of color and maybe add a orange pinstripe or something down the side of the truck um, to kind of tie it all together. So that's the plan. Um, but I'm going to start getting this tacked up here. Pieces are ready and cut. Like I said, I'm just going to work from one side to the other and I'll try to bring you along. Guys, so I think I got this uh, this first half all tacked up, and I'm really happy with how it's turning out. Um, the edges are matching up real nice and neat. Um, so that's looking pretty good. And I'll probably just take a piece of cardboard and trace this out, and then I'll transfer that to this, and I'll get this cut out um, later. And what I'm thinking about doing now that I'm kind of into it is I'm going to go ahead and make this first uh, side here and I'll get this other side made up as well and then I'll just um, tack some aluminum braces in here on the uh, piece uh, to get my distance right and I think this is about 31 and an eighth wide so I think I'll do that and then I can come in and try to fabricate this rounded portion and just get that fit in there I think that will work out pretty well. So maybe kind of doing the two halves and then meeting in the center. Okay guys, so we're back and I've got this uh, other side tacked up. This is turning out uh, really pretty good. Um, you can see that uh, you know, we're trying to pretty much just match it uh, exactly how they've got it. Um, this portion right here it's got this little recess in and I couldn't figure out um, what they were trying to clearance for. Um, it might have been the washer bottle, I'm not sure, but I've, I've changed that anyways to a aluminum one that I made. Um, so that's not necessary, so I just went ahead and did that clean on that side. This is the relief um, right here for the uh, radiator hose to come in. So that's been clearanced pretty nice. And uh, I've got my uh, cut out here. Now I'm pretty much just going to go ahead and take these two sides and uh, set them at the correct distance apart from outside dimension and then uh, tack it together and then just kind of fill in the gap with a rounded section. Okay guys, so I've got the uh, the two halves of this uh, fan shroud kind of locked down to the table. I uh, drew some lines on the table 
um, to kind of give me a guide so I, that way I know this side and this side are square to each other and they're locked down to the table with some C-clamps and then I'm just going to fill this in I've got this piece of aluminum here formed um, I kind of started, I bent it around a, uh, a tire and then kind of worked it around a, um, a five gallon bucket and uh, just kind of worked it around until I got the shape that I liked and that's a uh, pretty close for uh, for me and I'll take that and then I'll just take this piece here and uh, start trimming it down to uh, get it to fit in between these two pieces um, something about like that and then um, there's a this other piece here that I'll have to make this little uh, drop down here and that'll fill in the extra so that way you can't stick your finger in underneath the fan shroud or uh, whatever and get into the fan um, and I might even uh, stamp caution fan on there or something like that uh, just to kind of give it that authentic uh, feel so alright guys so I got this uh, fan shroud all tacked up uh, pretty happy with how it turned out um, so basically the next step is to go ahead and get it clamped down it does have a little bit of warpage to it um, so we'll get it clamped down to the table and keep it that way while we're uh, welding it out uh, but uh, I think it turned out pretty slick um, you know got the cut out there for the radiator uh, hose just like this one here uh, the only thing I have to add to it is going to be some tabs to it and I'll do that out of some uh, you know just a little flat piece of uh, aluminum there with a slotted hole in it to give myself a little bit of a give and um, all in all I think it turned out pretty sweet um, did go ahead and stamp um, caution fan on there just like the original or close to it anyways so uh, pretty happy uh, with how that turned out these are just in there for uh, bracing purposes uh, while I got it tacked up and that will uh, hopefully help keep it nice and rigid or more rigid while we're welding it, uh, less warpage. Um, once we uh, do that, um, once we get it all welded out, I'll go ahead and cut these out and then go ahead and trace a line here and uh, trim out this side here, uh, just like this one here. Hey guys, so I finished up this aluminum fan shroud here. Uh, I think it turned out fairly decent. It's not the best looking thing. Um, I'm hoping that the powder coat will uh, hide some of the imperfections on it. Um, so I did go ahead and get the uh, mount tabs on there. I ended up just taking this one here and laying it back down on the table um, inside of my marks here. And then I just um, put the uh, marks for the, uh, for the holes on the original unit here mark that on the table and then I laid the new one the aluminum one inside the same marks and then just put the tabs uh, directly on those holes and uh, welded them in place so uh, we'll see if it fits I did give myself uh, some uh, fairly generous uh, slots there um, so I do hope that it will fit um, so uh, we will uh, test fit it here shortly